morning. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Mathis. Good morning, Attorney Bradfield. Good morning, Attorney Goss. Good morning, Attorney Johnson. Good morning, sir. Your Honor, can you put me in breakout room with Attorney Johnson and Attorney Gloss Glogowitz? I'm sorry, Glogowski. Glogowski, yes. Glogowski. Good morning. Oh yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, the gentleman with the uh, rebel uh, audio, rebel read audio of uh, iPhone in the green shirt there. What's your name, sir? James Welcome. Guff. James Well. Guff, G-U-T-H. Lorick. All right, the gentleman on the iPhone, the, or uh, is that, uh, yeah, the iPhone right there. What's yeah, your name, yeah. sir? Yes, Your Honor. James Guff. No, I, I wanted the other. I got you. You're James Guff. Right? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All right. What about the gentleman in the green up the top left? What's your name? Lorick. Oh, Lorick. Okay. All right. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning Mr. Lorick, you haven't, you haven't paid any. Excuse me. You haven't paid anything. Yeah, I, I have. <clears throat> uh, I don't see anything to pay. All right. I made two payments. Uh, how long you got? How long it take you to pay this stuff off? Um, it's not, I'm just really getting back to uh, work, Your Honor, and plus I was sick and everything. And I uh, once my um, driving record came back from my other job, I ended up losing that because of the ticket. So, Morning, y'all. Uh, Mr. Johnson, did you get yours worked out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for that adjournment. We needed it. Uh, pleading to uh, uh, impaired with uh, drug treatment court. Had to speak to Shannon. It's going to send it to uh, Judge Holmes? They didn't tell me the details. I'll assume so since she does that. Uh, can, so. we get the drug on the line, can we get probation on the line, please, for Mr. Lark? Okay. Mr. Lark, Sanjay. Mr. Lark, Mr. Sanjay, San Juan. Yes, sir. Um, what about that, uh, that community service? I finished it up uh, last Friday. They said it was going to mail it in to you guys last Friday. Who was this that over at the Southwest Detroit Community Justice Center? No, they, they didn't have a program starting until the 27th for this month, so I had to go to um Ms. Green. Ms. Green. Yeah, she told me to go to Focus Hope. Can we get Miss Green on the line? Please? Okay. 
Um, the Leggett, let's get Leggett for George Treatment Board. Sherry Leggett. Sherry Leggett. Let's get, uh, probation for Laura. Let's get Ms. Green for Mr. Uh, Mr. Green. Mr. Samuel. All right. Thank you. Counselor, uh, uh, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your client's name? Good morning to you. Are you referring to me, Your Honor? Uh, Lippin, yes. Yes, yeah. Uh, the client is J the defendant is James Guff, G U T H. This is the city of Detroit. Are we ready, Miss uh, Yes, Your Honor. All right. This is the city of Detroit. Uh, James Brian Goff, case number SP125765571, SP125767. Zero one appearance for the record, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Richard Lippitt on behalf of James Guff. Okay. Oh, P P six four two four two. Thank you. Yes, today is the time set for free trial and matter. Uh, well, I guess the offer probably for this would be a blocking traffic, dismiss the misdemeanor. What your client want to do? Is there any way they could do allowing an unlawful, uh, an unlicensed driver to operate? Um, yeah, I don't. Um, if that's your choice, I'm well, sure I talked to Mr. Goss about that. The reason uh, being, the reason being is he's trying to get his license back, and if he has blocking it, that that abstracts and um, allowing an unlawful driver does not abstract. I'm not familiar with blocking abstracting. Oh, all. you're not. Okay. So then I'll, so then I'll take, I'll take the first offer. I apologize, your honor. Well, you better, you better do your own research. If you, if you, because if you've heard that, I'm not familiar with that at all. Abstracting, but I don't want to, uh, you know, you know, I want you to, you know, I want you to make sure you do your own research if you know, if necessary. Um, I think I would rather do the allowing an unlawful driver to. I asked Mr. Goss. Where's Mr. Goss? I'm here, Your Honor. Well, not that, Mr. Goss. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Goss. Goss. I said G O S S. Um, I will. Uh, <laughs> He usually for the uh, for the improper license. He usually wants to do failure to display, and that abstracts the other But for the um, allowing, uh, I, I, I'm gonna put you in a breakout room. You can ask him. Great, thank you, Your Honor. Good morning to you. Whatever goes uh, forward, we'll go. All right, you're going to have to, uh, Mr. Lacey. Mr. Lacey yeah. You yeah. Mute yourself, please. Give your conversation. You said what? Mute yourself, please. I can hear your conversation. Okay, well, I ain't having a conversation no more, so. So, Ms. Golgowski, what's your client? Alski, you there? Maybe not. All right. Let's Um, Councilman's um, uh, allowing for a proper plate and a failure to Can I get this driving record? 
this is the city of Detroit versus Mojeta Mojeta Lene Lopin, case number SP12563, one six one. SP, oh, this is set for trial on one of them. I don't know how that happens. So, I'm not so, even. So what we'll, does that mean that one is set for trial? Yeah, so what we'll do, uh, Mr. Logan, is wait on the officer. I'll give him 30 minutes to see if he checks in. And if he doesn't, we'll call the cases and get rid of them all. He wrote all the same tickets, so... Um, We'll just, we'll just wait for him to come in if he makes it. Okay, I didn't, you say, okay, you said you'll give him 30 minutes to arrive. If yeah, he's not in in 30 minutes, if he's not in, he's not in in 30 minutes, we're going to dismiss your cases, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, um, let's go with uh, Plata, Eduardo. Yeah. Did Miss um, Bogowski check back in? Yes, Your Honor. Um, who's your client? Good morning to you. Um, um, Nath Nathalie Lopez Romero, who's with me today. Is he here? Um, yes, right here with me. Chuck Logowski, P7419 on behalf of Mr. Lopez Romero. All right. Um, well, uh, state your name for the record, sir. Neftalio Lopez Romero. Does he need an interpreter, Ms. Logowski? Um, he, he does, except I'm just uh, going to request that we set this matter for trial. So I was hoping to be able to proceed without one. We we did request one, but I, I don't see one. All right, we'll set we'll set the matter for trial. That trial date is going to be September twenty second, twenty twenty two, at nine a.m. Thank you very much. Twenty so September twenty second, twenty twenty two, at nine a.m. Is that a good date for you? What was the date again? September 22nd. September 22nd. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Very well. If there's nothing further, Grace, you and Ms. Golgowski, have a great day. We appreciate that. Thank you, uh, Your Honor. Have a nice day. All right. What about Mr. Uh, Lippitt's client? Uh, what's that? Oh. He needs to take the drug. He's got to speak. Put your appearance on the record, please. All right, let's go back on the record with Mr. Uh, James Gout. Um, go ahead, put your appearance on the record, counsel. May it please this honorable court, Dante Goss, P60162, on behalf of the people. Good, good morning, Your Honor. Richard Lippitt on behalf of Mr. Goss, who is here in the Zoom session as well. Did you put your appearance on the record? I mean, your key number on the record? Oh, I apologize. P64242. Okay, now you mentioned you mentioned, uh, I was about to give him on a, a, a blocking traffic, um, but 
Um, the, the, now the yeah. city attorney so coming in and looked at his driving record, record, and he wants him to take the Michigan defensive driving course based on what he sees in his record. That uh, if we could adjourn for that, um, I don't I don't have an objection to that at all, Your Honor. And also, it looks like he's eligible to get his driver's license. So correct, time for correct, and that's why that. That's why we're trying to get something that doesn't abstract because if it abstracts, that would prevent him. He, he's hired me to, to get his license back, but if, if this abstracts, then we're not in good shape. Come, we'll come back with the driver's license and I'll give you a, a, a much better deal. If you take the course and the driver's license, I'll give him a much better deal. Okay, the, the issue with the getting the driver's license is that would take probably 120 to 150 days based on the amount of time that the Secretary of State grants hearings. Okay, then. Just take the class. And I will, I, I will give, if you take the class and take it seriously, I will give them something that won't abstract. Okay, so can we get an adjournment date, Your Honor? Um, yeah, I think that's the issue was that. Um, I, I uh, from my knowledge of blocking traffic does not abstract, doesn't do anything on your record. Um, I I would take the blocking traffic today. You got to take the mission defensive driving class to get that offer. Okay. Because of his, you know, he already has, you know. All right. I, I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. So it's at the court's pleasure. Do you want us to come back and plead responsible to blocking traffic or do that today or however the court wants us to do it? Good morning. So those are plus the ones we have then, right? Hold on a second. Who's that talking? On the phone, yeah. yeah. You have to be okay. quiet. Okay. At 313 828. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you out the break. I'm going to put you out the room. 313-828-8513. You have to be quiet. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I'll put the um, information in the chat, Mr. Lippitt, about where to take the class and the uh, yeah, where to sit the uh, certificate upon completion. Like more hours. So, who's on? I'm on. Who's on the phone at three one three eight two eight eight five one three? I got some tickets. Um, I uh. Put the information in the class. I'm going to give him a pretrial date of uh, 9 22 2022 at 9 a.m. I mean, 8 30 a.m. 9 22? Yep, uh, 8 30 a.m. Uh, very good, Your Honor. Okay, if it's nothing further, you and your client have a very good day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Your Honor. You too. Okay. All right, let's get, uh, this is the city of Detroit versus San, ja San Juan Green, case number SP1240392. Appearance for the record, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Daphne Bradfield, P70578 on behalf of Mr. Green. State your name for the record. San Juan Green. San Juan Green. Uh, good morning to you, sir. Good morning to you, Ms. Brownfield. Again. Good morning. All right. I have, I have uh, a uh, compliance report from the uh, Ms. Green and the community service. I ordered you to do 12 hours. Of community. You completed those 12 hours of community service. That, sir, I'm going to dismiss your case. All Appreciate right. it, man. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, no problem. Good luck to you. Have a great day. Oh, right, you have a good one. All right, you too. Okay, Logan, uh, Corporal Hoyt, you, uh, good morning to you. I'm going to put you in a breakout room. We do have Logan here, uh, and I'm breakout room, you speak with uh, uh, the city attorney and uh, Ms. Logan, at some point when they when they make an offer up for you, I'm going to give you an opportunity 
to join the breakout room with uh, Ms. Bradfield, who will be representing you today, unless you have your own attorney. Uh, but you have a very, very good lawyer in Ms. Bradfield if you don't have your own attorney. Uh, and I'll allow you all to speak, and she'll, she'll let you know what's going on. Thank uh, right? you. And uh, you'll have an opportunity to take the deal, or you'll, we'll set it we'll, you know, today as a date and time set for a trial. Um, all right. Okay, uh, thank you. Eduardo Plata, did I call that name yet? Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Ma'am, can you put some, um, can you cover up a little bit more for me, please? Ms. Logan? Oh, it could be the way I'm sitting. No, you need to put another shirt on. Okay. Uh, let's see this file. Um, Is this better? I'm sorry. You need to put a shirt on. You need to go put a shirt on. Like okay, shirt. I just didn't want to, the call to disconnect. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. All right. Um, Mr. Plotter, are you there? He's not there. We're going to move on. <laughs> Lace. Yes, I'm here. You, sir. Yeah. I'm okay. All right, this is the city of Detroit versus uh, Tyree. Lacey, case numbers SP129, 7436, counts one, two, and three. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Brackey, on behalf of Mr. Lacey, state your name for the record, sir. Tyree Lacey. Good morning to you, sir. Uh, today is the date and time set for a pre trial in the matter. Let's see, what, do you have a driver's license, sir? Yes. Run Mr. Lacey's driver's license, please. Attorney Weiner, good morning to you. What, what's your client's name? Good morning, Judge. Um, Keith Griffin, he has logged in. Um, I believe last time we were here. Um, waiting, we're waiting on um, the trial of the, the officer to show if, he, if they do. I think they were, you were also waiting to see if you could find a, a file that no one had at that point in time. Yep. And uh, if that and if that couldn't be found, um, then we would take appropriate motions. That's what it was adjourned for. That's what you had suggested. But I'll wait. For, um, and you had you had inquired about the prosecutor about that at that time, and he indicated, if I recall, he couldn't locate a file either. Yeah, it appears that Mr. Griffin caught some more cases too, alcohol related again. Oh, sorry. Hmm. I'm in the bed. Lacey, get up. Oh. Yeah, I am. All right, see up, sir, please. Who's on the phone at? 313-828-8513. Who is that? Josephine Gonzalez. All right. Good morning to you, ma'am. Morning. 
I was having trouble getting on Zoom, so they gave me the phone number to call. All right, Mr. Goss, I have a valid driver's license for Mr. Lacey. No files for Mr. Lacey? All right, um, let's go back on the record, Mr. Tyree Perry Lacey. Um, do okay. You have, do you have valid insurance and registration, sir? Um, I have valid uh, registration. I do not have valid insurance currently. Well, that, insurance, that registration is probably not going to be valid if you don't hurry up and get insurance. Um, Mr. Goss? Yes. I'm sorry. No, yes. Ma'am, Ms. Gonzalez, I'm going to mute you, ma'am. And until I call okay. your, your, your name, I need you to press star six. That'll help okay. you. All right. So okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. Goss. <laughs> I have some valid insurance, so I could dismiss all your tickets. Um, uh, need some valid insurance. When are you going to get valid insurance? You talk about me, Miss Lacey. Mr. Lacey, yes. Um, actually, um, from my last court day, I would have had it by now, but I had some debts I had to pay. Actually, I paid my last uh two hundred thirty eight dollar installment today, so I'm out of debt officially today. Um, I would say within the next um. Four to six weeks, I have it definitely. All right, come bring bring back. Um, I'm gonna set another free trial for 9 22 at 8 30 a.m. Bring um, valid registration and insurance on that day, and uh, we'll dismiss the rest of the tickets. Okay. All right, if there's nothing further, sir, um, have a great day. All right, you too. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's really too. Hey. Make sure you hang up, sir, please. Uh, I don't even know how to. This thing is crazy. All right. All right. Is that D2? Did I get the pronunciation of that right? Is it D2? Her camp, her, her stuff on mute. Can you unmute yourself, please? Z A I D I C U. Where's the event little? Um, not really. Yvette Lowe. Yes. Where are you, ma'am? Hello? 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 Okay, I, I had, this is Miss Grant. I had to dial in because my, I don't know how to do this Zoom stuff. I'm sorry. Right. What's, your, what's your first name, ma'am? Ziad Two. Zietu? Yes. All you had to do was unmute yourself on the, on the I, phone. I, I tried to. It wouldn't do it. <laughs> so go to the um, bottom right of the screen, and it's an audio button. And you just I, hit okay. that up. Okay. But now I'm on the, can I just stay on the call? Because I, honestly, I don't know how to operate this phone. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how to operate. I need to see your face now. Okay. Um, okay. So, okay. So, what to do? Go back to the Zoom meeting. Go. Go. 
Go to the bottom right of your um of your of your screen on the phone or, wherever, or whatever device you're on. You should have a you should have a video. You should have a video button. I don't. I got a FaceTime button. Are you on an iPhone, ma'am? Yes. All right. What if you're signed in under two devices? I'm signed in on the same device, but on the Zoom, I can't get in. You can't hear me. I can hear you, but I you can't hear me. And I tried to go unmute myself, and it won't do it. I don't know if I'm having trouble with my phone or what. Oh, Hello. Hold on. All right. This is the city of Detroit versus Zietu Grant. Case numbers. SP one two two five three five count one two and three appearance for the record please. I don't have an attorney. Daphne, Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Miss Vandy Two. Miss Grant. Okay. Oh, you said Miss Grant. I'm sorry. Yeah. State All your right. name for the record. We have two Grant. All right, today is the date and time for a bench for uh, arraignment on a bench warrant, Ms. Uh, Bradfield. For purpose of arraignment, she stand mute and wait for more readings, Your Honor. All right, I'm going to enter a not guilty plea on your client's behalf, give her a zero dollar bond. There is an allowing, uh, we can offer her the allowing $240. Uh, that's a zero point of ticket. It does not abstract to the Secretary of State, and I'll dismiss that ticket upon payment. Or we can set a trial date for your client. Do you have registration and insurance, ma'am, for this uh, 2005 Ford? The car is currently not operational. No, I don't. It's you don't not drivable. Any, do you uh, have any registration and insurance on any vehicle? Yes. But right, so, yes, I. Yes. So we can set a trial date. Um, I'm going to put you in a breakout room with Mrs. Uh, Bradfield. She can explain to you your options. We can either set a trial date or she can set the deal. Uh, she doesn't have any way of, 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 allowing, of allowing me to see any valid registration and insurance. But just speak okay, to but her. You, okay, just, but I wasn't please, even. Ma'am, ma'am. Okay, yes. Listen, please. Okay. All right, speak to her in the breakout room, Ms. Bradfield, and, um, and and see what she wants to do, okay? She's in the room. All right. Did you have a meeting with you that way for Judge Parker? Where is Little? Right here. I don't see you, ma'am. Get up, please. Yes, 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 yes. Where are you, Miss Lou? Right here. Um, I, I need you to keep your camera on. Okay, Ms. Brad, is that are you back, Ms. Bradfield? No, it's 
All right, I'm waiting on um, um, so you guys are Mr. Awesome. John Johnson for or your client, Ms. Leggett. Good morning, Ms. Leggett. I'm waiting on some frequency work to come out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I sent an email to my car, my name is Paul, and I called this. I didn't get an answer. So let me call that. Okay. All right, let's play on this Bradfield a bit. John Black's leg has got a lot of strength. Okay. It's uh, a little of a little of a little of a No, no, she just got um, um, HP Vaughn iPhone. What's your name, ma'am? Yvonne Lang. All right, good morning to you. Good morning. Do you have a driver's license, Miss Lane? No. Um, what's preventing you from getting a driver's license? Tickets. Just I just paid Detroit. I just got to um, pay Hamtramck. Well, I got to go to court for Hamtramck on the 25th. And then I'll be, I'll be able to get my driver's license. So that's the last city I got to um, pay off. All right, let's wait on the lawyer to come back out. No, these tickets aren't affecting you getting a license, you know that? They're not? No, not here in the city of Detroit, it's not. I didn't know that. I think you can get a license. You want to come back and when bring a valid driver's license, we'll dismiss these tickets. Um I, I don't know when that's gonna be. I still have to deal with him tramming. Well, I mean, I'll give you to him September 22nd. September the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So even with those still on my record, if I clear him, try make us, I, I still be able to get a license. That's what it appears to me. These cases don't seem like they're affecting your license. All right, let's let's talk. Hold on a second. All right. Um, all right. Let's uh, go back on the record for Miss Grant. Ms. Grant, I'm giving you an opportunity to speak with uh, Miss Bradfield in the breakout room. Uh, Miss uh, Bradfield, what does your client want to do? Actually, I would like to speak to Mr. Goss in regards to this matter. Okay. 
Let me get um, Mr. Goss. Uh, I'm here, Your Honor. All right. Let me put you in a breakout room with uh, join the breakout room, Brad Field, and speak okay. with about uh, okay. the matter, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so do you want to do you want to take that opportunity to get that done, ma'am? Uh, this uh, Lang, are you Yvonne Lang, Dora Lang, right? Yes. All right, this is you want to take that opportunity to do that. Yes. Um. What What about the money that I had paid? Um. To Detroit already. You owed it to him, didn't you? So you talking about a bond or something? Well, yeah, so you you would drop yeah, both of them. You would drop both back. of them. I don't know mm -hmm. why they, I don't know why they, who made you pay a bond? I don't know who made you do that. But they made me pay $400. Yeah, at the end of the, at the end of the day, and you owe, And you owe um, how much to uh, to uh, Hamtramck? Yeah. Um, like six hundred, but I was trying to pay it ahead of time, but they told me to wait to court, which is on the twenty fifth. Of this month. Yes. Even if I give you this money back right now and close these cases out, you're not going to get that money back in, in for a couple of months. Okay, that's fine. At least I'll get it I, back. I wanted to see you through getting a driver's license. That's what I really wanted to do. But I'm going to just get rid of the cases. I'm going to get rid of the cases. And you know, um, this is the city of Detroit versus Yvonne Dora Lang, case number SP 3735251 and SP 5102591. Ms. Lang, can you state your name for the record, please? Yvonne Dora Lang. All right, I'm going to enter not guilty pleas on, on, on your behalf, and I'm going to put a zero dollar bond on the case. With that, I'm going to dismiss uh, both cases uh, for because you paid related civil infractions that, that went with both of these cases. And uh, furthermore, um, these cases are going to be dismissed because of the age of the ticket. Okay. Uh, they're both past seven years old. All right. So um, you want that bond uh, back? You're going to have to come down here or call this number. You have any pen, ma'am? Um, one second, please. Oh. Okay, what's the number? Uh, that number would be 313-965-5228. Make sure they have the correct address as well. 313-965-5228. That's the number to the bond people. Make sure they have your address, but don't 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 expect that money anytime soon. But uh, you'll, you'll, I'm dismissing both the cases. I'm waiving the warrant fees 
a waiver warrant be possible to pay the reinstate. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, good luck to you, ma'am. That's uh, Miss Bradfield. Are you there? Yes, Your Honor. Can you put your appearance on the record for Miss Lang? Yvonne Dep Dora Lang? Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Miss Lang. State your name for the record, please. State your name for the record again. She already put her name on the record. Um, what I did was basically uh, she had old uh, driving while license suspended tickets and uh, she paid two related civil infractions and the tickets are seven years old. So I dismissed on, on, those, on those two reasons. I waived the warrant fee and, uh, and paid the reinstatement and have her pay the reinstatement fee. All right. And I gave her the number to the bond to retrieve that money back. Thank you so much, Your Honor. All right. Let's go back on the record. With, uh, Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. Can, you, can I get in the breakout room with the officers? Yeah, I got you. So, you moved me to two, right? Yes. And who are, what other are officers it's are here? Corporal Aikens. Okay, Aikens. Good, up, good morning, Corporal Aikens. All right. And, and uh, then good we have Kate Spencer Cleveland on the line for Miss um, Leggett. Uh, does Miss Leggett qualify for the drug treatment court, Mr. Uh, uh, Case Manager Cleveland? Um, Your Honor, a preliminary review of her background seems that she is eligible. I would need to speak to her to make sure that um, um, this is a voluntary program, and I wanted to make sure that she um, she understands. Right, she's represented that. by counsel, so I'm going to put Ms. Leggett um, and her counsel in the breakout room with you. Thank you, Your Honor. Perfect. Thank you. Good right, to you as well. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I don't see uh, Mr. Uh, oh, I see it. Honor. Yes. I get a minute. I just need to grab a. Yes. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, Your Honor, can I be go uh, go back into the breakout room with Miss Grant, please? With Miss who? Ms. Grant. Grant. Yes. Okay. All right. She's in there. All right, Ms. Logan, I have forgot about you. I'm gonna get, we should have an offer for you in a minute. And um, then we got Frank and then, and then Leggett's in the breakout. I heard you, but I didn't hear you clearly. Um, I'm, I haven't forgot about you. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get uh, the offer that, whatever offer they have, I'm gonna be able to present that to you momentarily. And then if you want to speak with uh, Ms. Bradfield, I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak with her, all right? Yes, thank you. I'm back in. Let's see if we can take care of with uh, uh, all right uh, let's go back on the record with mrs grant mrs grant i've given you an opportunity to speak with counsel in the breakout room um counselor what's your client want to do your Honor, my client, um, there's a new offer. The offer is if she was to plead to unregistered motor vehicle, they'll be reduced down to improper plate. And um, the other two matters will be dismissed. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that she couldn't make a factual basis for the I'm allowing, right? Correct, Your Honor. All right. Is that what you want to do, Ms. Grant? Yes. 
Okay, ma'am, can you raise your right hand, please? Yeah. Do you swear or affirm to the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Are you going to stand down, ma'am? Ma'am, do you understand the maximum possible penalty for this offense is 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines? Yes. Do you understand that you have an absolute right to a trial? Yes. Do you understand by taking this offer, you're going to give up that trial right? Yes. Has anybody offered you anything other than what's been stated in the record? No. Okay, ma'am, let me draw your attention back to October the 12th, 2020 at around 10.05 a.m. in the city of Detroit in the area of Grand Westbrook Street, Maine. Did you have an occasion? To, well, you may not have had occasion to come in encounter with the Detroit Police Department, but uh, did you own a 2005 Ford on that date, ma'am? Yes. Was there something wrong with the uh, registration of that vehicle on that date? Yes. And what was wrong with it, ma'am? It wasn't registered. Very well. I'm going to find you guilty of the amended count of improper plates. I'm going to find you $240 for that. I'll dismiss that upon payment. Um, and that does not abstract to the Secretary of State. Therefore, it does not carry any points. And with the stipulation of probable cause counsel, I'll dismiss the other two matters. We still stipulate, Your Honor. Okay, ma'am. Uh, when can you pay the two hundred forty dollars? Fry. Well, where do I pay it at? Uh, you can pay it at any div that kiosk in the city of Detroit. I'm, uh, I'm told you can upload that div that app on your phone, uh, or you can come down to the courthouse and pay that two hundred forty dollars. What would you like to do? Um. I'll come to the courthouse and pay it um, on, um, what's the date? Um, trying it to think when I have... the 21st. Okay, can I come and pay it on, um, I don't know, what time, what time is the court open? I, don't, I, I can come pay it on Monday, on Monday. Okay, if you pay it on Monday, we can close it out on Monday and dismiss it. You can bring the receipt up here if you're coming down to the courthouse. Yes, I'll be. What time? What are the hours that I can come? I I come at eight thirty or or you know eight eight o'clock. Well, I I I work and I was trying not to miss a day of work and I get off of work at at, at two thirty. If I'm there by three, is that too late? So three is fine. Okay, Monday. All right, come back in on on the 29th at eight twenty five, eight twenty five a.m. And we'll make sure that stuff is paid. I can make sure it gets closed out properly, all right? Okay. All right. If there's nothing further, have a very good day, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're waiting on. Logan. All right. Uh, what's the offer for Logan? Right, well, let me call the case now. This is the city of Detroit versus Mongetta. Lene Logan, did I get that pronunciation right there? Yes, you did. Uh, uh, case number SP125-6302, counts one, two, and three. SP125-6316, counts one and counts two. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradshaw on behalf of Ms. Logan. State your name for the record. Mangetta Logan. Miss Glenn, you are too noisy. I apologize. And, and, and Miss Glenn, put a shirt on. I have a shirt on. I have a tank top. You need a different shirt? Yes, no, ma'am. A shirt, not a tank top. All right, go ahead. The office will be uh, for the speeding allegation. We limited access one to five. And the other one is uh, can we get Mr. Gloss near the mic? Please. All right, that's I got it. So it's um limited access one to five and seatbelt violation. The limited access is gonna be 
I don't think it's going to be any points. There's no points with that limited access. It's going to be $125. And the seatbelt violation is going to be $65. And then dismissal of everything else? Yes, sir. All right, that's your offer, ma'am. You have an absolute right to a trial, and as a matter of fact, and and and, and uh, Corporal White, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Uh, All right, um, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Logan, did you hear that? Yes, I did. Do you want to say those are both civil infractions, ma'am? One is uh, uh, it is going to abstract to the Secretary of State that limited access will abstract to the Secretary of State, uh, but it doesn't carry any points. Um, the other is a seatbelt ticket. I believe that may abstract as well. Let me check that. Check. Seatbelt violation. All right, thirty thirty two ninety. Thirty two ninety uh, does not abstract. Valid for FCA failure to comply with judgment on driver only. No, it does not abstract. So, so both of them no abstraction. So one of one of them abstracts the limited access, but no points. And the other no abstraction. And one is a sixty-five dollars for the seatbelt, hundred and twenty-five dollars for the thing uh, for the limited access one to five. And the rest of the matters will be dismissed. You want to take that deal, ma'am, or do you want to speak yes. to Mrs. Bradfield regarding it? No. You, you, you I rather. Take... Yes. Right. Is everything okay? Is everything can... all right with? You? Yes. You just got that mild manner, huh? Yeah. Not very excitable, are you? I am. Not today. I I guess. All right. All right. Well, Miss Bradfield, we're gonna. Your client wants to take the deal, so Miss Bradfield, okay. your client stipulate to the face of the ticket as an accurate factual basis for the responsible, please. We still stipulate, Your Honor. All right. Uh, with that stipulation, I'm going to find your client responsible for the amended count of limited access, one to five. The fine will be $125. And then I'm going to find your client uh, uh, responsible for the seatbelt, uh, uh, $65. And um, I'm going to just, with stipulation of probable cause, I'm going to dismiss the other matters. We still stipulate, Your Honor. All right. Ma'am, when can you pay this? Um, if I can have just a, a couple of weeks or a few weeks, maybe. Put a date on it, ma'am. Um, and make, make it reasonable for yourself. Okay. At least I can have it paid in total by October. October, you went over, you went months and down the line, and you said from a, you went from a couple of September. weeks, three like, months. I did. I, are, are you working? Yes, and not as much as I was. All right, I'm going to give you 60 days, ma'am. Okay, that's Nine, great. 2022, make sure you pay it. I don't want to see this affect your driver's license, all right? Okay, thank you. 
Have a great day. You pay it at any div that kiosk in the city of Detroit, or you pay it on, um, and you can upload that div that app to your phone, I'm told, or you can come down to the courthouse and pay it, all right? Okay, thank you so very much. All right, good luck to you. Have a great day, ma'am. You too. Thank you, Mrs. Bradfield. You're welcome. Enjoy your day. You too. All right, we have a... Um, with the event, we need, we need an offer from Ms. Lowe. She's got a lot of stuff going on. Where are you, Ms. Lowe? Right here. All right, are you up? Yeah. And, uh, okay. All right, this is the city of Detroit versus Event Sierra case number SP1160855, counts one, two, and three. SP1168767119459, SP1064882, counts one and counts three. SP1168755, counts one and counts two. SX3191279 counts one and counts two. 19459426. SP9786401. 19508831. SP9786401. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Miss Little. State your name for the record, ma'am. Yvette Little. Why can't you show your face? I mean, I mean, I think we deal with this all the time with you. All right. You, you don't have to throw the baby on. Huh? You can, the baby can be on the screen, too. All right. I want her on the screen. <laughs> so... Uh, again, she's just so reluctant to put her. I, I can't. I can't see you. Get up. I am up. All right. So, uh, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. What are you, you going to do with this little? You want to take a plan? What did we talk about last time, Miss Lowe? Or have you seen me before? I can't hear you. Can you repeat that? You need to sit still. Why are you? What were you? Can I was you trying to move away from the baby so she won't be crying in the background. All right. Let's um we've been here before, right? Yes. Did you get a driver's license? No, they told me that I couldn't until September 28th. September 28th. Yeah, I went back up to the Secretary of State. She told me I couldn't. Oh, my God. All right, it, it's going to be a lot better if you get a license. September 28th? Yes. All right, I'm going to have you back on, uh, on, on, on October 21st. The city attorney will give you a much better deal if you get a license. No okay. More, and no more tickets. Can't, uh, what you, huh? If you, get, if you get a license, a driver's license, and no more tickets, the city attorney will give you a, be, a much better deal, all right? Okay. Stop driving this little.
All right, pre-trial, October 21st, 2022 at 8.30. Get that license. If you get that license before then, man, you zoom in with that license and we'll pull your file and we'll get this behind you, all right? Okay, thank you. All right, have a great day. Thank you. All right, let's go with uh, Mr. Warren, Weiner, Mr. Uh, Griffin. I guess it's time now. Thank you, Judge. This is the city. Are you going to represent him on these two new cases? Where is he? There he is. No, there's an OWI, no, no ticket, no officer. Yeah, no officer. Yeah, no officer, no, no actual ticket. Uh, the probation officer McCall. This is the city of Detroit versus Keith Javon. Griffin case number SP1305208 counts one and counts two and Z8084611. Appearance for the record, please. Judge, for the record, Arnold Weiner, retained counsel P22104 on behalf of Mr. Griffin, who is logged in. We have both have no objection proceeding by Zoom. Mr. Griffin, state your name and is that correct? Steve Javon Griffin. Any objection by Zoom? No objection. Thank you. Judge, All right. we're, we're um, ready today to is the date proceed. and time set for today is the date and time set for a trial on Z8084611. Um, go ahead, Mr. Weiner. Judge, I'll. Uh, as indicated before, Judge, we had problems with locating the officer and the file or ticket last time when this matter was put over for that matter to be rectified. Apparently, it has not. At this time, I will be requesting a, a motion to uh, dismiss. Obviously, obviously, it's going to be without prejudice, but that will be my motion, sir. Thank you. All right. Today is the date and time set for a trial in the matter. Is there an officer, um, Alan Harbin? Alan Harbin. Hearing no response, uh, now 934. It's supposed to be here by 9 o'clock. I'm going to dismiss the case, no officer. Um, what about the other two charges? Are you going to represent them on those two charges now? I, I am your judge. We, we just received a hearing date that that is scheduled for a... Um, for an arraignment on October the 25th. That's my understanding of what the tickets show. October 25th at 1.30 for arraignment. All right, let's, let's do the arraignment now. Uh, go ahead with the arraignment. Okay, well, Judge, um, I, uh, Arnold Weiner appearing on behalf of Mr. Griffin for for the two tickets. I believe it's um, eight numbers. I'm looking at this S S P one three zero five two zero eight one and S P one three zero five two zero eight two. Um I'll waive the formal reading, ask the court to enter a plea of not guilty and and set a other uh, hearing date for those. Thank you. Oh, maybe we need to just go straight to trial because the offer for this is going to be uh, what I call a non-offer. It's uh, open out calling a motor vehicle driver. You know, I don't understand, you know, your client, young man, he dodged a bullet um, so far. I don't know if they'll bring that case back, um, but he, he just doesn't, uh, based judge, on the allegation, it doesn't seem like he wants to get his act together, but well, um, judge, we will we'll be I, I understand what the court and in all appearances it looks bad, but um yeah, we'll, we'll be, yeah we'll be able to here. show that 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 I, I, just quickly we'll be able to show that that um, that it was an empty bottle and there was nothing in it and it wasn't even his, but that's at a later date, Judge. All right, but well, what we'll do is we'll give him a trial date then. We'll give him a trial date. Um, for uh, September the 22nd, because just like I was about to say, it's um, a trial and a formal hearing. 
Uh, the offer on this is only going to be, which I call a non-offer, is uh, open alcohol and a motor vehicle passenger. And it's the same $240 fine, same alcohol-related offense on his record, and uh, same two points on his record. So they only wanted, the city only wants to reduce that to passenger. So um, if that's if he, if he wants to take that deal, he can take it. But if not, then we'll set a trial date and formal hearing for it. All right? Yes, Judge. I'll be in contact with the city attorney between. Uh, is that going to be Mr. Goss again? It's going to be Mr. Goss again, yes. Okay. Then I'll wait him. Thank you. All right. And I'll set a trial date. Um, that'll be September 22nd, 2022 at 9 a.m., all right? And that, will, and that will be by Zoom, correct? Thank you. And that'll, yeah, that'll be by Zoom. All right. Thank you, Judge. Bye-bye. All right. Good, day. Good luck to you, young man. Thank you. All right. All right, let's move on. Um, Bowen has a, uh, let's call it Owens. This is the city of Detroit versus Jeremy Antonio Owens. Case numbers SP 122296, <laughs> counts one and counts two. SP 1324925. One here for the record, please. Kathy Bradley, on behalf of Mr. Owens, take your name for the record, sir. Jeremy Owens. Hello. All right. Uh, today is the date and time set for a. Pre-trial, uh, I will say this, and I don't, Mr. Owens has paid uh, this no insurance civil infraction, one of the worst things you can pay almost down here, um, and he has a 16 to 20 over, a failure to comply with limit line and signal. That's, that's a stretch. I don't, I don't know. And um, then he has a no ops ticket. So you can give him a trial date, I can give him an offer, or I can um, let him speak to you. And uh, let's give him an offer first. Where's Mr. Goss? All right, I'm going to pass the matter momentarily so I can give Mr. Goss to give him an offer, and then I'll let him speak to you, make a determination. Unless he just wants to go straight to trial, that's that's uh, Willie Robinson. He's going to definitely show up. For sure. I'll, 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 I'll wait for an offer. All right. Um, Mr. McCall. Uh, uh, do you have a large? How's he doing? He's not. I'm not. I'll figure it out. Judge, we're ready on Miss Leggett as well. All right, let's let's get let's get Leggett. All right, this is the city of Detroit. Gary uh, Leggett, case number Z eight zero eight five seven eight one. Appearance for the record, please. Hey, please, the court. Vassal Johnson, P72130, on behalf of Ms. Leggett. And Ms. Cleveland, too. Oh, thank you, um, Your Honor. Toshi Cleveland, case manager for specialty court. Can you state your name for the record, please? Ms. Leggett? Oh, Sherry Monet Lager. All right. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. So uh, let's go ahead, uh, Council. Today is the date and time set for a pretrial. I understand you guys got a recommendation in front of me that you 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 did an awesome job here. You worked this all the way down to uh, something that usually doesn't happen this way. 
this leg is to an operating while visibly impaired. That operating while visibly impaired is a 93 day misdemeanor, uh, well, punishable by up to 93 days in jail, $500 in fines. It is a um, four point offense on your driver's record. It will be a 30 day suspension, but an automatic 30 day reinstatement of your driver's license, uh, the restricted the restriction. Um, for 30 days. Um, and um, I'll find you $240. And it's my understanding that you want to go to drug treatment court. Judge, if I can state, yes, she wants to. She's not able to. Uh, she's going to have to decline the, the off recommendation. She doesn't want to. But uh, because of the requirements in the program, she won't be able to fulfill that. So it would have to be the OWI offer instead for Mr. Goss in the city. And I spoke, we, we all spoke with Ms. Cleveland as well regarding the requirements of drug treatment court. All right, Ms. Uh, Cleveland, you have to go it is a voluntary situation. And um, we will... Uh, if you don't want to go, you don't. Uh, other than that, Mr. Goss. Yes, Your Honor. Are you? Is, uh, what is this? Um, well, I doesn't have on this form the programs that 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 I want her to have take. Uh, are you talking about the, the the video, the mad video? The mad and the uh, and the uh, victim's impact. But let's let's get to that role. You want to take this deal, ma'am? Is that the OWI, Your Honor? Or the well, what about what about the what about the testing? Yeah, the OWBI. No, no. Um, because that had a caveat, she had to do drug treatment court. So she's going to have to decline um, that offer. And because the, there was two offers, one was that one, the other one alternatively was the OWI with no drug treatment court. And that's the one she wants to avail herself of. That OWI carries a much different uh, penalty as it relates to driving. Do you have a driver's license, Ms. Leggett? No, sir. You don't? No. Well, what's wrong with your driver's license? It's suspended because of this case. I don't know why it's suspended because of this case. It's probably suspended maybe because of some type of uh, failure to um, it, uh, allegation of failure to blow, Mr. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this is this case, man. I don't have that, Your Honor. I don't see why our license would be suspended in this case, other than failure to um, blow in the data master. Your Honor, can we um, run her SOS? And that would tell us why. All right, so let's run let's run uh, Leggett's SOS and see why our license is suspended. So the operating while intoxicated. Now um, there's no, uh, the, the operating while intoxicated is a six point offense, and the first one is suspended for uh, thirty days. After thirty days, you get a hundred fifty day uh, uh, restricted. Okay, no hardship appeal. Uh, so that's going to be a hard 30 day suspension. You indicate that your license is already suspended, but other than, um, so that's what the, that's what the ramifications are as, as it stands now. You want to take that deal, ma'am? Yes. Now, what about the, um, issue that we had? with the testing uh, last week, Mr. Uh, Johnson, have you addressed that with your client? 
Yes, Your Honor. She's been testing two times a week, just like Your Honor ordered, and she's all she's been testing negative. She's been doing a great now, job keeping but she, up. What about the positive test that we had? Uh, did she ever get you the information that you needed? No, Your Honor. I didn't have a uh, wasn't able to, to obtain a prescription on that uh, pill bottle for that pill. Ms. Leggett, are you going to be successful in this? Um, I understand you got obligations with your kids and stuff. I would like to see you get the better deal. Um, let's see what your driver's license says. So apparently it is suspended because of this. Uh, The reason why is because it appears that her license was suspended uh, out of that first case that ended up getting dismissed. That owes a $45 reinstatement fee on that ticket. It, 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 you owe another $45 reinstatement fee on another 2020 ticket. I believe if Ms. Leggett paid those two $45 reinstatement fees, her license may um, be valid after that. You hear that, Ms. Yeah. I don't know how this will affect it. They'll, 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 they'll just give her the regular 30 day suspension that she's going to sign up for if she takes this deal or not. Judge, can I state then? So if she's suspended and then she has another infraction while she's suspended, she may be suspended further. I, I would advise Ms. Leggett to pay that $90 to get reinstated and then take the offer so she can just be suspended for 30 days as opposed to being longer, especially with her five children. I would, I would, uh, I, I would, I would allow her to do that, especially in that situation, because I don't want to see her further aggravate her driver's license. Um, that, would, that would force you to have to come back again, Ms. Leggett. You want to do that? That's up yes. to you, Mm -hmm. right. So um, you, the sooner you get that ninety dollars here, you can pay that in any div that key, right. or you can pay that. You can upload that div that app on your phone and pay it there. You know, all you have to do is type in your name, and you'll see two forty-five dollar fees. The sooner you get that paid, and the div that or coming down to the court in person is the best way. You'll wait forty-eight to seventy-two hours from that point. And um, then you will uh, be able to uh, you'll be able to uh, appear to uh, uh, you know, don't quote me, but it appears that you'll be able to reinstate your license. Now that depends on if you have any other things out in any other jurisdictions. Right. You have any other tickets outstanding out there? 
No. All right. You want to come back? Um, what do you want to do? Two weeks, counselor? How long you need, Ms. Leggett? Friday. Oh, okay. Tomorrow? Yeah. Well, you pay it, you pay it tomorrow, pay it tomorrow, but come back in, in two weeks. I want you to go to the Secretary of State. If you pay it tomorrow, then wait 48 to 72 hours from that point. So some like Wednesday of next week and go to the Secretary of State and then come back after that with a valid driver's license. That way you'll have a valid driver's license before you enter into this agreement. That's right. Okay, okay so go pay it at the 36th court the $90. Right. Right. Take my clearance to the Secretary of State. Come back with drivers, a driver's yeah. license. Yeah. It may automatically go through clearance, but you have to wait 48 to 72 hours for that to hit the system. Yes, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay. All Fine. Right. So I'm going to set another pre-trial date. This come. This one's going to be uh, shorter. This one's going to be for two weeks on on um. August the 4th, 2022 at 8.30. Take those steps before you enter this agreement. And uh, I don't know, maybe your lawyer can work out something better for you by that time. All right. August the 4th. You know what to do, right? Yes. All right. If there's nothing further, man, have a very good day. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you, Judge. Good, good seeing right, you, Ms. Cleveland. Bye-bye. See you, Sherry. Okay, um, Ms. McCall yeah. or Lord. Okay. This is the city of Detroit versus uh, Micah uh, Lord, case number Z8. 083761. Appearance for the record, please. Good morning, Your Honor. Myra McCall on behalf of the probation department. All right. Good morning. Lord, can, you, can you put your appearance on the record, Mr. Lord? Can you state your name for the record, please? Michael Lord. All right. Go ahead, Mr. McCall. Today is the date and time set for a review. Um, there was supposed to be a time at Saints here that was discharged from probation, but go ahead, Mr. Todd. Your Honor, Mr. Lork was placed on probation on January 21st, 2022, for 18 months. He was ordered to pay $1,195 in assessed fines and costs. Mm -hmm. He was ordered to complete the alcohol highway safety class level one, attend and complete the victim's impact panel, submit to random urinalysis once per week, attend outpatient treatment depending on the outcome of the substance abuse evaluation. And contrary to the condition, Your Honor, Mr. Lorick has failed to provide verification of completing the victim's impact panel, has failed to provide verification of completing the alcohol highway safety class, has failed to provide proof of submitting to a substance abuse evaluation, and he has missed screens on July 5th 2022, July 2nd, 2022, June 24th, 2022, and June 18th, 2022. So he last tested, Your Honor, was on June 11th, 2022, and he tested positive for marijuana and negative for all other substances. All right, Ms. Ms. Bradley, you want to you put your appearance on the record for this? Definitely. On behalf of Mr. Lord, good morning, Ms. McCall. Good morning, Ms. Bradfield. How are you? Wonderful. All right. good. Thank so you. So, what's going on? I was doing. I, I was. I was. I was doing everything up until the time I got sick, Your Honor. And when did you get sick? Uh, about three weeks ago. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doing everything. Did you read that one more time? When did he get put on probation? He was placed on probation, Your Honor, on January 21st, 2022. All right. January 21st, 2022. By my calculation, that was, it's January, it's July 21st now. 
That was six, six months ago. And he says, I've been doing everything. I had to get another job. I had to get a whole nother job ago. because of the ticket that I had got. Because I had a driving job, I had got fired from work. I just asked you what's going on. You said you've been doing everything up until three weeks ago until you got sick. And she read off stuff. You haven't done anything. And if you got fired from work, then you would have more time to do stuff. I had to get another job. Well, in the meantime, you could have took the victim's impact panel and the in the math class. Yeah, I was I was taking the other the um, yeah. AA class, and I signed up to do the um to do the the community service, and then I got sick. Your Honor, may I speak to him in a breakout room, please? Yeah, he's gonna give me he's gonna give me some what I'm what I'm hearing some kind of lame, lame excuses. Okay, join the room, please, Mr. Lark. All right, Mr. Goss, and then let's get uh, who else is set for trial? Is Joshua Lewis here? Is Kendrick Gator here? I'll meet to the west side. Like, uh, Officer, Officer uh, Tay Tyler. MPO Tyler. What did what did they go to work on? I haven't heard it going. Uh, you heard everything about um, uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem here. You heard everything about Lord. That out and in, right? That's what Miss Corrine said. Hello. Hello, I, I, sir. I a, name a long time ago, sir. Oh uh, yes, I couldn't. I was my computer was messed up, so I switched to the phone. So right now it's working. And I'm sorry about that. Yeah. 
Officer Tyler. Um, let me introduce Mr. Ogos. Um, can we get a uh, Mr. Owens? Uh, Mr. Owens has a, a no ops. I guess a, a 16 to 20 over a, and a failure to comply with line in the street. I guess at a stop at a stop sign or a red light, maybe. But I, I'm thinking that it's maybe just crossed over that line or something. He paid a related, um, he paid a related uh, civil infraction of uh, of uh, civil infraction of no insurance. Hello, good morning, Judge. Good morning, uh, uh, NPO, Tyler, uh, where, uh, who are you here on? Um, I'm here for a uh, Brianna Graham. I thought you called my name. I hope I'm not interrupting your proceedings. No, you're not. Okay. What's the, what's the ground? Um, Brianna. Kershama Graham. That's what I have. Uh, that simply fall under me, but I just don't see. Oh, no, I just don't see her on my docket today. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I did receive a notice, I believe. Graham, uh, spell the first name. Uh, B R Y A. N N A. And Graham G H A R G R A H A M. Yes, yes. Sir. Now let me look it up. All right, thank you. B R Y A N N A. I also have a case number, Yarn, if that will help you. I think you can find it this way. Trial. That's tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was today. I'm sorry, Yana. I do have it on my calendar. It's Friday. I apologize. All right. That's all right. Mr. Okay. Glenn, I mean, Mr. Green, wake yes. up, sir. I'm, wake I'm up. up. I'm up. <laughs> Why do they say that? He was just, he was just, uh, he was just meditating. Gonzalez? Not yet, Ms. Gonzalez. I told you. Oh, I'm, I, I, I know you're there. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Mr. Goss. cases you can speak to some of these people right now and I give Mr. Owens his offer. Mm -hmm. 
Let's get, let's get um, Mr. Plata his offer. Mr. Owens, your offer is going to be limited access uh, one to five. That's a $125 fine. And we'll dismiss the other two matters since you paid that related no proof of insurance civil infraction. You have an absolute right to a trial, sir. I can put you in a breakout room with Ms. Uh, Bradfield if you want to talk about that. What would you, what would okay. you want to do? Uh, I, I could talk to Ms. Bradfield. All right, that's limited access one to 20. I'll put you in a breakout room. With Ms. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. You ready? Yes, thank you. Allowing and blockading for problems. Call your name. Ms. Uh, Gonzalez. Ms. Gonzalez. Yes. I asked you to mute yourself. I muted you and you must have unmuted yourself. I, I, don't I know I I accidentally I hung up the phone. Yeah. I don't want to give you a conversation in the background, ma'am. I'm gonna mute you one more time. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, Mr. Plata, your offer is going to be pleading to one count of allowing an unlicensed driver to drive, $240, uh, and a, an amended count of blocking traffic for the improper rate use, $175, and we'll dismiss the other stuff. You have an absolute right to a trial, too, and I can put you in a breakout room with Ms. Bradfield if you want to, if you, if you want to talk about the deal, all right? Okay, that's fine. Ms. Glenn, do you have a valid driver's license, Ms. Glenn? No. Good morning. Good morning. What's going to take for you to get a valid driver's license now? Um, I have a ticket in Saline that I need to clear, and I also have one in Madison Heights. So you're just all over the place getting tickets, on. Huh? Well, <clears throat> excuse me. I was helping a, my aunt uh, drive up to Adrian College, and we were in my grandfather's car, and we didn't know he didn't register his car. So I got pulled over for that and say, So blame that on your grandfather. I, don't, I can't blame him. I mean, I can, you but, did. you know. You just, you just did. <laughs> you just did. You didn't tell it was me. His... You didn't say, Judge, I had to take my um, uh, my, my aunt up to college, and I needed I needed to borrow a car to get there. And no, um, my aunt... I didn't check, I, I didn't check uh, my grandfather's plates, which I'm obligated to do uh, before I get into somebody's car. You said... Actually... Uh, I was the passenger. My aunt was on accident and she was having trouble breathing. She asked me to drive us back. I was just the ride along, actually. And on the way back, we got pulled over. I wasn't actually supposed to be driving the first place. No, no, he did not. I was sitting at a light and he came out of a gas station and pulled us over. I had no idea <laughs> that it wasn't registered. Oh. I was actually, he started off as a passenger. And then what was the other ticket about? Uh, Madison Hyde, I made a left turn in the construction zone. In the construction zone? You you did yes. that one, huh? Yes, not paying attention because this is normally a turn lane on 12 mile and... Now, how long ago was that? John R. That was some, both of these tickets were years ago. I, it would have been my cousin pulled you over in Madison Heights. 
Um, I don't know about that part. You could be this. Was he black? No, no, he was not. (laughs) Huh? I said no, he was not. Oh, so it wasn't my cousin, man. No. He retired now. He just retired this year. He probably would have gave you a break. Oh. All right. This one is um. We're ready on orange room. Yeah. Okay. We're ready to go. Yes. Um. He'll be sent as metaphor trial. Who's that? Mr. Owen. All right, this, uh, let's go. This is the city of Detroit versus Jeremy Antonio Owens. Case number SP1322962, counts one and counts two. SP1324951, appearing for the record, please. Daphne Bradfield, on behalf of Mr. Owens, state your name for the record, sir. Jeremy Owens. All right. Today is the day time set for a pretrial. I've given you an opportunity to speak with counsel in the breakout room. We offered you a limited access and uh, dismissing the other two counts. You, you elected to go to trial. Uh, your trial date is going to be 9-22-2022 at 9 a.m. All right, sir? Okay. Have a great day. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. All right, Mr. Mr. Plata, you want to take this deal? I gave your client Plata an uh, offer of allowing $240 dismiss upon payment and blocking traffic to $175 and dismissing the rest. This is the city of Detroit versus Eduardo Plata, case number SP129421, four counts one and counts two, SP1. 3297591 SP1342381 count one, two, and three appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Mr. Plata. State your name for the record, sir. Eduardo Plata. All right. Today is the date and time set for a I don't get he's a world father. He should uh, Raymond on the bench warrant. Um, you want to uh, arraign your client, Ms. Bradfield? Yes, Your Honor. For purposes of arraignment, he's standing mute away from a reading. All right, we'll, we'll uh, enter not guilty plea on his behalf, give him a, a zero dollar bond. Um, you want to take the deal, sir, allowing $240 to dismiss the fraud payment. Blocking traffic, $175. None of them abstract, none of them give any points, and I'll dismiss the misdemeanor upon payment. You have an absolute right to a trial, or you can speak to Ms. Bradfield in the breakout room if you need to get some more information. What would you like to do? There, Mr. Plata? Uh Yes, I would like to talk to, uh, I would like to go to the break, break room. Okay. And Your Honor, what's the misdemeanor that's being dismissed? Allowing. Okay, so he just have two 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 matters. No, uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six open cases. Okay, and I only see one on the docket. That should be easy. All right. Okay, thank you. Join the room, please. All right, how about uh, Ms. Glenn? Um, you yes. want to go and uh, get get a driver's license and come back? Um, I would love to. I just don't know how to go about doing all that with the other two tickets. You go to those jurisdictions and call them. I set a court date. Go up in there and set a court date. You know where they are. That's the, that's that's. Okay, I can do that. Didn't just go paying anything either. Go set a court date and and, 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 and work out something that's that's favorable for you, all right? This is City of Detroit. This is Adrian 
uh, Glenn, case numbers SP1212582121 and SX2527691. State your name for the record, Ms. Glenn. Adrian Glenn. Today is the date and time set for. I'm gonna uh, give, get your not guilty plea on your behalf. But I'm gonna give you a zero dollar bond. I'm gonna set a pretrial in the day for uh, 9 22 2022, and I'm gonna give you an opportunity to bring a valid license in. Um, you know what you can do? One way you can go about it, you can go to Secretary of State now, see if they will give you a license. First, you may okay. be surprised. And if you don't get the license, then ask them exactly what is affecting your license. And they should be able to tell you that. Okay. All right. I can do that. And then okay. you, can go, you can go from there. Because they, they've been giving people licenses as of last I November. They've been wiping a lot of stuff away. Okay. They're not going to wipe Mr. Clark's stuff away, but they'll wipe your stuff away, man. Okay. All right. Come okay. back on uh, September twenty second. Come back on September twenty second, twenty twenty two, and um, we'll see what we'll see where it's there. You're there, you can get to type in some more now, ma'am. I saw you working hard this morning. All right. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Good luck to you. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to uh, Gaddy. What's Gaddy got? Lop, Lop, Lopton, do you have plates and insurance? Um, no, I do not have insurance, but I, that car is no longer um, working. Ma'am, you need to put a shirt on. Okay. Let's move on to um, uh, let's go back on the record with Mr. Uh, Edward Eduardo Plata. I've given you an opportunity, sir, to speak to Ms. Bradfield in the breakout room. What would you like to do, sir? What would your client like to do, Ms. Bradfield? Your Honor, before he takes the plea, I need to know um, what's the original charge that's being reduced on the blockading? Uh, the original one is improper lane use. That's the one, sir. Okay. That's a point. That's a at least a two point ticket. Yes, Your Honor. He had got something from Secretary of State in regards to those two points. So I was just letting them know that's the one that is going to be amended. All right. You want to take the deal, or does your client want to take the deal or not? Yes, Your Honor. He would like to take the deal. Is that correct, Mr. Plata? Yes. All right. I'm gonna um, have you. Where are you, sir? Right. Yes, yeah, uh, Raise your right eye. He already knows. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you swear or frown and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. You can put your hand down, sir. Sir, do you understand the maximum possible penalty for this offense is 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines? Yes. You understand uh, that if you're not a United States citizen, a conviction for a misdemeanor offense can potentially implicate immigration issues? Yes. Uh, you understand that you have an absolute right to a trial? Yes, I do. You understand by taking this offer, you're going to give up that trial right? Yes. Has anybody offered you anything other than what's been stated in the record? Uh, no. All right, let's go back to draw your attention back to uh, uh, March the 17th, 2022 at 6.35 p.m. or thereabouts in the area of Lafayette and Wheelock in the city of Detroit. Uh, did you have an occasion on that day to come in contact with the Detroit police or maybe not? Did you have that on that day own a 2008 GMC? Uh, yes. Did you allow someone to drive that 2008 GMC? Uh, yes, I, I allowed him to drive because that day I had my foot, um, my ankle swollen and it was um, 
it twisted that day so i had to let my brother drive so i really couldn't that was not that's not an excuse for anything so i couldn't really drive so he just took me home and that's and literally you, your all. brother didn't have a driver's license did he yes i yes he didn't okay. and that was my fault yes that was my fault so we're gonna find you guilty as charged to allowing an unlicensed driver to drive. I'm gonna find you two hundred forty dollars for that. I'll dismiss that upon payment. Um, as for the, uh, the civil infraction, amended count of blocking traffic, where your client stipulates to the face of the ticket as an accurate factual basis for that responsibility. We so stipulate, Your Honor. Will your client stipulate the probable cause for the stop. We so stipulate. Matters. All right. I'm gonna dismiss the other matters. I'm gonna find you. Uh, responsible for the amended count of blocking traffic, $175. That's 240 and 175 sir. When can you pay? Um, honestly, right now, um, money's my problem. So do I have a payment plan option or do I have to pay it in full? Well, uh, uh, you, can, you can make your own payment plan and put the money up and just give me a date when you can pay it by. Are you not working, sir? At the moment, I am not. I am not, sir, so. You want to do some community service, sir? How long will the hours be? Well, how long will the hours be? Eight, 18 this? hours of community service. Okay. Um, um, no, I could just pay it in full. When are you uh, can, pay I give you, can I give you a... How, uh, can I get a month? Yes, I'm going to give you 30 days. I want to see you back on August the 2nd, 2022 at 8.25 a.m. so we can get this closed out properly, all right? Okay, sounds good. All right, if there's nothing further, sir, have a great day. You too, thank you. Bye. Thank you, Ann. This is the city of Detroit versus uh, Kayla. Denae Lofton, case number SP1260546, counts one and counts two. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Ms. Lawson. Lofton. Oh, Lofton. State your name for the record, please. Hey, Lydia Lofton. All right, uh, Ms. Lofton, good morning to you. This uh, today good is morning. the time set. Or a free trial on the matter. I did ask Ms. Loft, does she have insurance valid right now? And she indicated that she did not. Is that correct, ma'am? That is correct. Um, can you get some insurance or do you have a vehicle now, ma'am? Yes, I just bought a new vehicle. The, my other vehicle went out the day that my brother got the ticket in my car. I just got a new vehicle. I plan on having insurance in it registered within 60 days. 60 days? Yes, sir. I go to school as well. I had to pay You're my school loan. You're not going to drive that vehicle for 60 days and it's brand new out there? No, sir. Or I work from home. Or new to you? I work from home. I don't have I don't have no reason to go out <laughs> if I don't need to. And my mom stays around the corner, so she picks me up and takes me where I need to go. You got a reason to go out. You know you be hanging out. No, sir, I do not have any friends, and I do not deal with a lot of my family anymore. No, sir, I do not. <laughs> I just had world surgery on my mouth, and no, not this nine, one. 60 days, 9 2022 I'm going to set a free trial, give you an opportunity to get that insurance. Bring that insurance and registration in here. We'll dismiss the tickets, all right? Okay, and my brother was the one that was driving my vehicle, and I just want to accept full responsibility for that. That was my fault. We were going through a tough time because he was on disability, and I was sick. I had lupus. Okay, so now uh, we're plead guilty to that. She had been off. Ma'am, I, I accept that. My, my, I, 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 uh, my sister-in-law had lupus, so I know how that, that's uh, pretty... Uh, can be pretty debilitating sometimes. I hope you can yeah. up with your, your positive. Bring some insurance in here. Next time, I don't. You don't have to confess all your sins, ma'am. You know, no, uh, no problem. Throw, I just wanted to let you know and throw your brother under the bus. 
this is a this is a court, and um, most of uh, what the the, the 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 beauty of our system is is that the prosecutor has the obligation of proving you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah, right. you have no obligation, and you can remain silent. And he can't use, or she can't use, whoever that may be. In this case, it's Mr. Goss. They can't use that silence as 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 a as a way to say that because you you're, you're not talking that you must be guilty of something. So keep that in mind. Okay. You know. I just yeah. Okay. You just want to tell. That's no, I just wanted to give a, cl a clear because I wasn't even in the car when the ticket when he got the ticket. So I just wanted to make sure that that was clear. And, and then I guess you didn't give me authorization to drive your car, right? I mean, th no, I did. I definitely did. I'm not. I'm not saying that. See, see you. You, you okay. don't, don't. Don't. Please don't say anything else. Yeah, have you okay. talked too much, Miss Lawton? Okay. <laughs> Come back on 9 2022 get that insurance and registration, all right? Okay, thank you. All right, have a great day, man. You too, thanks. All right, let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the... Uh, uh, Gady? Is he gone? Is I'm here, Your Honor. I'm here, sir. You want to tell on yourself, sir? <laughs> this city of Detroit versus Javar Gady, he didn't even say anything. He's like, I'm not even answering that question because uh, uh, case number SP1255499, SP1255531, appearance of the record, please. Daphne Brass on behalf of Mr. Gaddy. State your name for the record, sir. Jabari Gaddy. Why did you keep letting me say your name wrong, sir? Oh, that's fine. I, I, I hear it in different ways all the time. It's no big deal. It is a big deal for me. I want to get it right. <laughs> it's Gaddy, though, uh, Judge. All right, very well. You have a driver's license, sir? Uh, not at the moment. Why not? <clears throat> um, well, to be honest with you, I haven't had a driver's license in a, <laughs> a few years. Um, you know, I haven't been able to uh, pay the fine, basically. Nice telling on himself, uh, Miss. Uh, now, you must owe some tickets in another jurisdiction or something. Uh, in Dearborn. That's the only jurisdiction you owe in? I believe so, sir. Why don't you go handle that? Let's give them a free trial date, 9 2022 Come back with a valid driver's license. I'll offer you a blocking traffic, $175 for this uh, failure to turn uh, or failure to signal or whatever that ticket is. We'll dismiss the driving my license suspended. Okay, so just um, contact Dearborn Court and address that issue. Yeah, that's all you have. Okay, yeah, I got a, a printout from the Secretary of State with Detroit and Dearborn uh, listed. So this was the first thing, and then um, I, I have to deal with uh, the Dearborn Court. Um, <clears throat> Right, and I then that should be it. I feel better giving them that deal, Ms. Bradfield. He didn't just take care of us last. We always get the short end of the stick. <laughs> that is so stuff, true. Right? <laughs> Come back, get yourself a license. Uh, I'll give you that blocking traffic hunter and bring $175 when you come back, too. So you'll clear it all up, all right? Okay, will do, Judge. Thank you so much. September, 20, September 22nd, 2022. September 22nd. Got it. Have a great day, sir. Good luck to you. All right.
right, Ms. Gonzalez, you're up. City of Detroit versus Josephine Gonzalez, case number SB1260725, counts one and counts two, appear for the record, please. Daphne Brush, yes. on behalf of Ms. Gonzalez, state your name for the record, please. Josephine Gonzalez. All right, uh, the day is the date and time set for a pretrial. Do you have valid, re valid uh, registration and insurance, ma'am? Yes, I do, Your Honor. All right, I don't know how you're going to show it to me since you're online. <laughs> I know, I didn't know how to hook up to Zoom. Could I... Maybe bring it down to the courthouse, or when do you want to bring it down to the courthouse, ma'am? Um, I don't have a day off till next Tuesday. All right, we're going to give you till next Tuesday. Okay. I'm going to say uh, that would be July 26th, pre trial. Okay. 7 26 22. At 8.30 a.m., all right? I'll see you then. Bring in the in, insurance okay. and registration, okay? Okay, so come into your court then. Yes, in person, yes. Okay, yes. All right, okay. then. Great day, ma'am. Good luck to you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Who's on that iPhone? City of Detroit versus Green. Yeah, how did you know? I was just hoping. <laughs> case K. Carlin uh, Levon Green, case number SP1130074. And SP nine seven five four zero four one. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradfield on behalf of Mr. Green. State your name for the record. Carla Levon Green. All right. Um, today is the day of time set for review. Yes. Um, you haven't paid. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting it down, Judge. My, my money is exhausted. Um, I'm checking on jobs weekly and, and, and daily. Uh, I'm not getting no luck for real after this. I'm probably about to go do the same thing all over again. But all I'm doing is just praying and just hoping and whatever. I mean, I, I, I'm starting to get a little discouraged myself. But, you know, I'm still praying and just going day by day. I can't really do nothing about it. If it's out my hands, I'm giving it to him. Other than that, I ain't got nothing else to say. Just, that's what it is. He paid a hundred dollars on uh, SP. All right, what about your job situation, sir? What are what, do you have a high school diploma? Uh, yes, sir. Um, it's just it's really just trying. Like I said, it's I talked to the people. Um, the Secretary of State they're gonna allow, allow me to get my license at the end of this month to take my test, and that's cool. But um. Like I said, it's just my my money is just exhausted right now. I, I, it's just time thing for me. It's a time thing uh, as far Let's as somebody. Let's talk about the job. Let's talk about the job. Okay. But, but why, but why are you having trouble getting a job? Uh, I don't know. They said they're hiring everywhere. I put in applications. I'm on Indeed. I'm, I'm putting in for assistant managers at Dollar General's, Family Dollars, uh, whatever I can do. I mean, they nobody called them back. The bread factory, the steel factory. Nobody's calling me back. I'm not getting any luck, Judge. I'm not bullcrapping or anything like that. I'm just, I'm really discouraged. I, I'm, sure I'm, I'm wondering why I'm not getting phone calls neither. Like, what's wrong? I got a reason. How old are you? I'm 36. Let, let me ask, let me ask you a question right quick. All right, can you, are you still getting jobs over? Am I still getting who? No, I was talking to somebody. I was trying to talk to somebody about a job. Quick, a real quick job for you. I was saying that they are still hiring. Um, how old are you? I'm 36. All right. 
uh, would you be interested in going to, um, I got a good, a very good connection for you, but you have to be willing to, to go all out on this connection. If you go all out on this connection and you just go in for the next four years and they'll pay you, you'll have, uh, a, a, you'll have one of the best jobs that there is. Um, I went over to the, uh, I went over to the uh, training center over there and it's right here in the city of Detroit. So you don't even need a car. Now, the jobs that they connect you with, you might need a car to get out there, but cross that bridge when you get to it. No, cross that bridge when you get to it, right? Uh, but this is over there at the Carpenters and Millwright Center on American, right off 96. I'm they, familiar with it. You say what? I'm familiar with that area, America and 96, uh, Jeffers here. At the Carpenters and Mill, they just built a new facility over there. And I have a gentleman's name. They took me on a tour of that facility a couple of weeks ago. It's awesome. And it, it, it's, uh, they're, they're, they need people real bad. They're building these buildings here in Detroit, and they don't have enough people, and they're training people. And I talked to a guy, Jerry Carlisle, over there, and he said that the, he said that I can I can give them his I can give people his direct number. And I'm I'm willing to take it, and I'm willing to talk to him, and I'm willing to go. I'm willing. But it's intense now. It's intense. It's not gonna be a cakewalk. Okay, what type of work is it? Because is it it's a skilled trade, a carpenter or a oh. millwright? A carpenter or a mill or who? A carpenter or a millwright. The millwrights are the guys that do the lifting and rigging and all the iron and, and, and putting the iron beams up and stuff like that. The carpenter is the guy that comes in, they got a bunch of different types of carpenters. See, Judge, I, I was in an accident a few years ago and Working at that steel plant, it really, it threw out my shoulder, but so I can't really do too much of heavy, heavy work. I can't do work like that no more. So I'm looking for something like, uh, like I said, um, either, either either I'm going to this, the bread factory or um, I need something, I mean, even demolition. When I do demolition, I have to lay down for, 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 for days because my neck and, and, and side be hurting, my hip. Um, so I can't really do too much hard, heavy lifting, but it was, it was yeah. a guy that was supposed to be hiring me. It was a guy put behind me for like janitorial work downtown. I was supposed to be doing like janitorial work, cleaning up some buildings. He never called me back. I guess the guy got fired or something like that. What's but, your phone um, number, sir? Yes, my number is 313-758-9868. All right, I'm going to set a pre-trial date. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this off for 30 days. I mean, 60 days. You come back on 9-22-2022 as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can... Um, I'm gonna see if I can uh, call somebody. I got a guy that that that's what he does, and he got he can get they're, they're paying twelve dollars an hour. They pay every Friday, and it's a mm -hmm. union job. You stay on the job for ninety days. It's a union job. Um, I'm gonna see if I just tried to call him. He's right in the middle of something. I'm gonna see if we can uh, get you that information. Yeah, if he can find me something, uh, I'm willing to work it. If I if you can find me something that's not too um extreme, I'm gonna work it. All right. And it's downtown, so you don't even need a car for that. That's perfect. All right. Let's come back um on 30 days, I mean in 60 days, 9 22 2022. And I'm going to give him a call. And uh you can and call me um Anytime, any anytime during the weekday. Or a weekend. Right, we'll, we'll see if, that can if he if he can, he can. If he can't, he probably won't call you. But if he can, I'm gonna give him gonna give me a number. Thank you. His name, his name is Bobby Mosley. Mosley? Yep. All right. Come back on um, in, 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 in um, 60 days on September 22nd, 8.30, all right? 
Okay, Judge, but uh, ho hopefully, uh, I thank you. I appreciate you for this. Uh, but hopefully, everything goes well this week or next week, and uh, I'll I'll have a job by then. Are you are you are you registered to vote? Yes. All right. Make sure you get to the polls this 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 uh, couple of weeks too on the second. I will. All right. Have a great day, sir. Good luck to you. You as well. All right. This is the city of Detroit versus jo Josiah. Uh, Lewis, case number SP1125530, counts one and counts two. SP1142999, counts one and counts two. Uh, appearance for the record, please, Ms. Bradfield. Daphne Bradfield, on behalf of Mr. Lewis, state your name for the record. He's not here. I'm oh. trying to get the officer out of here. I didn't notice this officer has been sitting in the breakout line. And what's the first name of uh, Mr. Lewis? Josiah, J-O-S-I-A-H. Thank you. Can you go grab him out of that breakout room, Ms. Bradfield? What breakout room is he? Okay, thank you. Uh-huh. All right, who's on that iPhone? Okay, uh, uh, Corporal Aikens, I didn't know you were in there at time all that time. Can you put your appearance on the record, please? Can I get uh, Yes. Uh, uh, Corporal Aikens, Detroit Police, bag 5 6. I'm sorry, uh, Corporal Aikens. Um, today is the day of time set for a trial for Mr. Lewis and Ms. Ms. Bradfield. What, 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 go ahead. I have no. Um... I do not know where my client is, Your Honor. Joshua, Joshua Lewis, please. Yes, and we have a print out. All right, today is the date and time set for a trial. It's now 1045. Uh, She's supposed to be here at 9 a.m. Um, I'm going to issue a failure to appear warrant, zero dollar. Again, Fort Blankens, I'm sorry. Uh, there's nothing further. You be safe out there. And have a great day. Thank you so much, Your Honor. All right. Bye. All right. Let's move on to uh, Darren Lee. What's the young lady on the iPhone? Oh, hello, Judge. My name is Zion Gantz. Oh, that's Miss Gantz. I've been trying to get, find out who you were. All right. I'm sorry about that. I didn't know. I thought my name was up here until I noticed. I apologize. Sorry. Right. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go call Darren Lewis. Uh, that, is it Zion Gan Z I O N? Yes, sir, correct. It's Zion. G A N T Z? Yes, that's correct. And what's your middle name? Uh, Diamond. I don't see that you have anything down here, ma'am. Um, so I'm Racina's daughter. She told me to just join the uh, Zoom meeting and uh, yeah, talk to you about. I know who you are. I don't see that you have any cases open down here. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't put, I don't have a case. She just told me to join the Zoom meeting and see about um, getting community service for my parking tickets. Um, so I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't do anything about parking tickets and it doesn't appear that you owe any parking tickets anymore. Everything is zeroed out. So no parking tickets at all? 
that says everything is zero, 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 zero all the way across the board. You've got, you have plenty of them in your life, plenty, but I don't see where there's any fines that are old. You would have to go down to the uh, Lafayette, or what's that? What's the name of that? Up, up Lafayette, the parking. Yeah. But I don't see. Any, I don't see anything. Um. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. All right. Have a great day. Same to you. All right. All right. This is the, the city. Let's see what Derek Lewis. Uh, do you see his file? I don't see him on the calendar. I can double check. I tried to scan it. Um. Why? Uh. What are you here, Mr. Lewis? Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, why are you here? Uh, today I have a court day, sir. I don't see that. July 21st, uh, set for trial. Somebody must have made a mistake. Let's see. I came on, uh, I was here May, I forget the date. But you said it for today, July 21st. Yeah. 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 Uh, was supposed to be the 18th. Oh, it was the 18th? I thought it was the 21st. The 18th. Um, what should I do moving forward? Because I, I, I could have sworn it was the 21st. It might have been my mistake. This is the city of Detroit versus Darren Gerard Lee. Case numbers. SP 11766751. I'm going to set aside the default on that. Counts one, two, and three. SP 11766751. Counts one, two, and three. Well, this is counts one and three. He paid count two. Um, SP 11766881. SP 1, um, SP12360 counts 1 and counts 2. SP12601431. SP12603561. SP12988401. SP one two nine eight eight four one one SP one two nine eight eight four one two SX three nine zero five three three nine two and SX three nine zero five three three nine one SP 
SX 39059266, counts one, two, and three. Seven two four eight four eight counts one, two, and three two one seven three three four nine five one two one seven three three four nine five two and two one seven three three four nine seven one. Appearance for the record, please. Daphne Bradley on behalf of Mr. Lee. State your name for the record, sir. My name is Darian Gerard Lee. Mr. Your Honor, the yeah, go ahead. Uh, Your Honor, we'd like to ask that all warrants be recalled, all civil infractions uh, default set aside, and for purposes of arraignment, he stand mute away from a reading. All right, I'm going to enter not guilty plea of your client's behalf, give him a zero dollar bond. It's just, you just, it just appears that you shouldn't ever be driving again. I'm not trying to, sir, until I clear all my... We've had multiple discussions, haven't we? Yes, sir. These are all old cases. They're not old cases. They're not old cases. They're, they're absolutely not old From the cases. last time that I've been to court for you, sir, yes, there are. I understand that. I understand that, but these are very recent cases. And you just have a history of just, I mean, how old are you? I will be 45 next month, sir. Accident after accident after speeding after open intox, all these allegations. Get a special trial date for him. 9-23-2022. Don't miss it this time or I'm putting a warrant out for your arrest and a cash bond on you. Yes, sir. I'm going to write it down right now. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 at 9 a.m. September 23rd. Write it down. Yes, sir. September 23rd eight, at, at 9 a.m. Have a great day, sir. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go back on the record for Mr. Lark. Mr. Lark, I'm giving you an opportunity to speak with the uh, council in the breakout room. And, um, you know, we started off but already bad because, you know, this case has been pled to on, 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 um, in January. And I can understand falling on hard times. I can understand losing a job. But you just said that that happened three weeks ago. And from what the probation officer said, you've done absolutely nothing. Essentially, I, I, you haven't paid any money. I wanted accountability for not taking those classes and everything. Um, I did make one payment towards the fee when I was working. And how and much? It was a $200 uh, payment I made. And, and that's six months. Let's just say five months, because you say you lost your job last month. No, it wasn't exactly last month. It was right right after I got put on this probation. They did a background check, which my job was a driving job at the time. So I ended up losing that because I got the ticket. He said three weeks ago he lost his job. I said yeah. that's when I that's when I first got sick. Oh, you got sick three weeks ago. Yeah, I didn't say it. That's when I first lost my job. All right. All right. Go ahead, Ms. Bradfield. I did speak with him about um, what's required of him and making this a priority. It's not a recommendation. This is the court's order. Um, I anticipate that he's going to be complying from this point on. Is that correct, sir? Yes, ma'am. 
Are, are, are you you uh, want the number to over there to the uh, to Jerry Carlisle over there at the Skill Trade Center? Um, actually, that's I'm already um, that's what I'm just started back doing. I've started back painting, so I'm I'm familiar with um him over there. My um two of my friends go over there to um is working for him now. Why don't you go over there and get to one of them good jobs? I'm a, I'm a journeyman pipe fitter myself. I raised my family for 25, 26 years on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, well, not exactly the whole time, but for a good portion of that time. But actually, that's what I've been doing since I can't drive. I mean, that's what I've been doing. All right, we'll set another review. We'll see if he, uh, Six months. Can we get another uh, six month review? Let's bring them back in three months. Uh, 10, 20, 2021. No, that's not. Okay. At um, 8.25 a.m. All right. Review October 21st, 2022 at 8.25. We'll see where you're at by that time. Okay. Thanks, Your Honor. I appreciate it. I Thank, you. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Remember what I said, Mr. Lord. I am. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Bradfield. You're welcome. All right. Okay. That date, October, what was that? The 21st. 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 Two at 830, at 8, 825. 825. You get in here first thing, we'll call the probation department, and we'll get you out of here right away if you're, if you're, if you're making some substantial steps to get this stuff behind you. I don't want to sit here and supervise this stuff all day long. Okay. 